Welcome back to more Phantasmagoria 2. Honey Bunny has nothing more to say to me. Pretty much exhaust dialogue with everybody. Eventually, it'll be time to go home. be more people to talk to. Not Trevor. Fuck Bob. Teresa's hot. Wait. I said Teresa. Ask you a question. Do you think there are things in the world beyond what we can see? Yeah. I think we're surrounded by things we cannot see. Things we cannot see until we start looking for them. I'm looking for a pair of boobs. Blondes in an office setting to work in the same room. You want to do a threesome with the four eyed nerd. Any takers? Call Curtis. Alright, no one wants to talk to me. Boss doesn't want to talk to me. Hey, Therese. How are you? Horny. Excuse me? You heard me. Let's cut the crap, Curtis. I find you very attractive. Listen, Therese, I have a girl. I don't care about that. I want nice. to be a prom date. I want you. I want your flesh. And your sweat.
two words. Dick tease. Call it a booty call. We have to be another booty call song. Great. Time to get out of here. Damn, I wish I had your hours. I've been at work for like an hour and ten minutes. Let's head to the Dreaming Tree. We got a little Disney with Jocelyn. Hi yourself. So, will it be the usual today, sir and madame? A jalapeno and honey grilled cheese sandwich for him and a veggie burger for her. You know, I'm not all that hungry. No, me neither. Yeah, how about a couple of those uh, double chocolate world famous maltiers? You got it, boss. Hi, sweetie. How was your day? Uh, pretty much sucked. No. Curtis, I want to be there for you. I want to help you when you're feeling bad. You just mean so much to me. You're there for me, Joss. I know. It's... I just wish... I wish I could be there all the time. That's all. Oh my god, enough of the PDA people. What's the matter, Jess? Curtis, I know when we started seeing each other, we said it was just for fun. No commitments. And and I meant it too. I really did. I just well, sometimes things change. I love you, Curtis. And I'm not trying to smother you or anything. I just want to be with you. I just... I just want to be with you. Rude. Jess, do you remember that night we went to the park? <laughs> oh god, it was so hot. We brought a loaf of stale bread to give to the ducks. <laughs> and they all I came. Know, <laughs> I never knew there could be so many ducks in one <laughs> pond. Not all and again. you, you ran from them. Oh, they were gonna eat me. <laughs> That's what she mm. said. What happened when we uh, got rid of them? <laughs> of course I do. Speaking of eating, <laughs> it was so hot and your skin was so slippery. We found that dark spot underneath that tree. We had to stop moving anytime anybody came close. <laughs> and you, you made those sounds, those sexy whimpers because you couldn't stand it. Kill that slut. Kill her like you killed your mother. Curtis, are you all right? Yeah, I'm, <clears throat> I'm sorry, Jess, I'm not... I'm not feeling very well right now. Oh, baby. Do you want me to come over tonight? And make you feel better. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, that sounds nice. Let's get out of here, okay? Whatever you say.
Wait a minute, why am I paying the bill? Good luck, Curtis. If you ever have any more troubles, call this lady. She's one of the best. Actually clean the apartment for a change. Oh yeah? Well, where'd you put the steam shovel when you were done? Oh, that is cute, Joss. Oh. Don't I know it? Come on, play some music. I'm dying to sing the booty call song. Fucking your brains out, Brainiac. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Boom shakalaka. I'm not gonna be able to put this on YouTube! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting going. <laughs> I'd leave you too if you started pulling out my intestines. Say goodbye to your hard drive, asshole.
thinking of you. Whips and kisses. Tea. Hey, Miss Blom. Hey, pretty girl. Yeah, you're the prettiest rat in the world, aren't you? All right, just don't get cocky, huh? Hey, this is the Phantasmagoria team. Dr. Ricky Harburg, PhD. Dr. Ricky Harburg's office, how may I help you? Hi, uh, my name's Curtis Craig, and I was referred to uh, Dr. Harburg by um, somebody, and I was uh, wondering if I could make an appointment. Certainly. Mm, let me see. You're in luck, Mr. Craig. We have a cancellation today at 5.30. Okay, I guess. Wonderful. See you soon, Mr. Craig. Bye-bye now. Thanks for your cooperation, folks. I know this hasn't been easy. Uh-oh. Dr. Powell will contact you if we have any more questions. Somebody fucked up Bob's burgers. What the hell happened? Oh, Curtis. I, uh, I got here early, and I, I went into your cube to see if you were in yet, and Bob... Uh, Bob was there. What's going on here? It looks like someone got pretty sick of Bob. Hey, I got an alibi. I was banging the short haired blonde. This is an active crime scene, sir. I'm going to have to ask you to stay out of the area. Yes, we did. Uh huh. Yeah. I'm not sure. That's been taken care of. Yes. I doubt it, sir.
In case you didn't notice, this is an active crime scene. Back off. Yo, bitch, that's my cubicle. What's your name, sir? Curtis Craig. That your cubicle? Yeah. Detective Alley Powell. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Detective, exactly what weapon was used to do that to Bob? Weapons, Mr. Craig. Several exacto knives, a box cutter, and a heavy-duty stapler. <sighs> what was your relationship to the deceased man, Bob Arnold? He was just my co-worker. Did you like Bob Arnold? No. Who are you? Just a witness to your crimes. Who are you talking to? Um, no one. This guy's losing his shit. Stop it. Oh, please Ooh, stop it. Eyeball. Squishy. You're obviously overwrought, Mr. Craig. We'll continue this another time. Good morning. Curtis? I'm calling a sort of... The impromptu meeting at the Dreaming Tree. I think we all need to get out of for a while. Yeah, okay. Thanks for coming, everybody. A really tragic thing happened today. Tragic and horrible. That depends if, if on... If anybody should want to talk to a grief counselor... Your perspective. ...the company will make one available to you. I don't know what else to say, guys. I'll go get some drinks. It's just so... We should be celebrating. Bob was a dick. I can't believe it. Yeah. Uh, guys, I don't, uh, I don't feel real well. Tell Tom I had to go, okay? Sure, Trev. You know, I... I never much liked Bob. <sighs> no one deserved that. No one. Oh, I don't know. What about Charles Manson? I mean, if it was good enough for Bob, it's certainly good enough for Jolly Charlie. You really held it together when you saw Bob splattered all over your cubicle. Cool as a cucumber. Yeah, my head was in a really weird place. I felt removed, like... Like it wasn't really real. Are you all right, Curtis? You're acting really weird. Oh, geez, I'm sorry, Joss. I guess finding disemboweled dead guys in my cubicle just throws me right the fuck off. <laughs> Fine. Why don't you call me when you're done being an asshole? You know, I don't really feel bad for Bob. I think the bad karma fairy got him. The bad karma fairy, huh? Ah, she sounds like one dangerous bitch. <laughs> yep. She stumped on his head with her wicked six-inch heels. Curtis, let's cut to the chase. I've told you how I feel about you, and you've put up your nice guy protest, but we're through dancing. Meet me at the borderline tonight. 
Waterline, what, the club? Mm -hmm. Never been there. Here's the address. I'll be there at seven. Don't disappoint me. Where'd everybody go? Hey, rat girl. I don't suppose you know what the hell's going on, huh? Isn't it obvious? You're a psycho killer. <laughs> oh shit. The rat's in on it. Caught dead. Leech therapy. The bottom is the answer. What the hell? I didn't kill anyone. Of course you did! <sighs> Let's return to Wintech. What do you think you're doing here? I just came to pick up some work to take home. Are you out of your mind? You can't take anything from a crime scene. Get out of here! And right back in. Hi, Mr. Warner, this is Tom. Uh, we need you in the fourth floor conference room right away. Uh-huh. Dude's got his shoes. Gentlemen, good news. Our external sources tell us that Wintech is indeed the only company currently researching interdimensionality and its potential for earning profit. The threshold project is still ramping up after almost 30 years of hiatus. 
but we expect to be fully online soon. It has to have been proved that the threshold equipment is still running properly, although some upgrades of the flux controls are necessary. We have not yet achieved synthesis of something. Can already tell. Carpe diem. Seize the day. Yeah, well. Seize this, Warner. Seize my nuts. folks but we'll see you next video thanks for watching